What's up guys, just got to the hoarder house and we got something we have to take care of. So everything else for the most part has been pretty much cleaned up, but this scrap. And now I hate to use my truck, my pickup truck as a scrap car, but we have to do something with all this metal. Leaving it here is no longer an option. So we're gonna try to be as productive as possible. Hopefully we could, oh, I forgot about this scrap pile. Yeah, I forgot, yeah, I do got a lot of scrap. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna try to be as productive as, as possible. I'm solo today. So we're gonna try to see how much money we actually can make from a scrap pile. Now, I, ever, I never scrap in this area, so yeah, we'll see what we can do, guys. Remember, we got to separate our metals. Separating your metals just consists of, it's very easy, a magnet. Keep a magnet by you, okay, guys? When you're scrapping, if you are new to scrapping, make sure that you have a magnet by you. Anything that is not magnetic is significant, and it goes in the significant pile at the very least. Nine times out of ten at the scrapyard, people will, people will be there to help you a little bit. Separate your copper from your stainless steel, etc. Um... Yeah. As I'm picking up all of this scrap and loading it into my truck, it's just, I wanted to capture this moment. Just right on the metal is a wax pack, 1981 Tops wax pack, one of the most iconic years of football in the 80s. Uh, Montana's rookie. It's so crazy that, uh, you know, like the story behind this, here we are years later and you know, just it's it's very hard when you're cleaning things up. You don't see rare wax packs like that. You know, you don't see all these random of rare items. Right. I guess I guess you can say it that way. Um, yeah. So, I mean, what is this even? Maybe some like old portrait or something from a. Oh, yeah, it's from a book. All right, guys, we're still going. We got a lot of these old rusty cast iron pans. You gotta be careful though. Sometimes these are worth some serious money. It might not be smart to, to sell, what does it say? Uh, Where Sydney? Yeah, it might not be smart to sell these, or not to sell these, to scrap these guys because cast iron pans, they're always, they, they always show, they always have some value. These are kind of toast though, I'm not gonna lie. These are. Definitely toast. Yeah, that's another thing, guys. I don't know why I say that. I'm not going to lie. Like, I would assume you would already not lie in the beginning. If that's just like a weird statement. Anyways, yeah, I think, you know what I'm going to do? I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm not going to lie. I'm going to I'm gonna scrap these guys. They, they definitely don't look good. Okay, here goes another quick lesson. Um, so going by touch, and this, this could be weird. I could be weird. Tell me if I'm weird, but going by touch, this metal is way more rough. This is because this is steel. If I go right here and I touch this, it's, it's, a, it's significantly smoother. That's aluminum. Um, I don't know if you guys could take that advice and use that and apply that as well if you don't have a magnet, but I definitely 100% believe that aluminum typically is smoother when you feel it here's a good look at the at the truck <laughs> loaded with scrap that's super funny here was the area we got that done and we also got a lot of other stuff done as well i thought we were gonna i thought we weren't gonna be able to get that scrap but we got that scrap we got that scrap and then this pile is like halfway done there's a lot of wood in there i don't want them to yell at me not yell at me, but tell me I can't scrap, um, you know, the gardening tools. A couple more pipes in there. I'm probably going to grab, see if I can get it in one load. And yeah, that's, that's pretty much, we're going to see what we get. Pretty wild scrap here. 
Hey, it says um, report to the office. Is this the office? Yep. Okay, so I'm just reporting to you. I wanted to let you know before I go on a scale. Okay. This is my first time scrapping here. Okay. All right. What so do you have? I just have metal, aluminum, maybe a little bit of copper. Okay. Um, if you want to go ahead and pull up on the scale, and then mm -hmm. I will get someone um, to come out and take a look at it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. And then you can come back in. Okay. Thank you. All right, look at that beauty right there. Sheesh, she just, all she has is just a little bit of scrap in her. We're gonna take it out, don't worry. It won't be for long. 6,040. I still kind of got, I got some like, some aluminum in there and some copper. I still got to like organize. A uh, Not a lot of it, no. Usually with these kind of loads, I just throw a few bucks on at the end. Oh, but okay. You, but like this, I mean, this shit, there's no weight there. It's not going to. Yeah, is that, is that, is this aluminum? It might be, but it's not going to be worth it. Just because we got to pay you guys to clean it. Plus you got the fabric we got to get rid of. And that's all aluminum, but you got the piss and the wood. Yeah, I could rip the fabric off really quick. Actually, it unbuttons. Um, and then, like, yeah, just, like, little... I got, like, a little thing down there. I don't know if you can see that. that that's aluminum down there. I mean, I don't really know. It's not, like, a lot, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean, you could toss a couple bucks at the end. I don't, I'm not this really... This is worth 10 cents a pound. This kind of stuff's worth, like, 6 cents a pound. So, usually, I just throw 5, 10 bucks on at the end to cover it. How much is a, a, a steel going for right now? Steel, so like this kind of shit is six just because of the wood, but like. Oh, is it? I thought it was up to 11. No, no is it back down? Be about eight. Like that shelf, I can give you probably eight or nine for. Wow. No. I, yeah, I, I usually scrap in Lorraine. What a cool dog. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Usually brings a rug. Wow. Um. So yeah, okay, so you're only paying six for the scraps for steel. Right. I thought it was up to 11. Am I, is it at 11? That's just what you're giving right now? No. Oh, okay. So we're, just, si we're six to 12. So six is like a sheet metal shred. 12 cents is like drums and rotors. I mean, there's different grades of steel. Oh, okay, okay. Um, on a load like this, like I said, typically I give, I'm not gonna give you six for it because you got aluminum and copper in there. I, I can probably do, Probably do like Galloway Brothers. Yep. Okay, okay. I could probably do. Uh... What's up? Let me see. You want another one? Seven and a half, eight cents a pound. See what comes up to. If I need to throw a few extra on, I can. Okay. I mean, you just gotta weight wise. I know you said you can take that off. You got new wood dust. You got wood here. Yeah. So, you said like eight cents you're giving me? I could probably do eight cents to see where you're at, see how much money you can buy through. All right, I'm, yeah, that's that's fine, man. Well, you want to take it to some steel down the road? I, or Lorraine, I'm not, but I really just want to get, get it out of my, my truck. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's up to you, man. Sure yeah, stuff. yeah, I'll take it, yeah, it's fine. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah. So, straight back, you're going to pull back to that crane, the yellow crane sticking there. Yeah. Back up to him, there's a couple guys who will help you toss it all around. All right, thank you, brother. Right, Talk to Rob, and I did believe that I do believe that scrap is 11 cents. Um, the fact that he's not going to let me separate my metals and things like that uh, kind of sucks. But, guys, we don't want to. We're, we're, we're cleaning up here, okay, guys? I mean, yeah, we want to make the most money, but I'm not going to drive all the way to Lorraine just to scrap to get a couple more cents. Look at all the letters. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Look at that. Wow, it's happening here, dude. Holy crap. Wow, I see what this guy says. Yo, where you guys want me to pull up at? Okay. 
It's a huge crab, guys. It's my first time here. Uh, <laughs> I don't think he cares too much. Look at that. Wow. Holy crap. That is nuts. Not enthused at all. It's funny. I'm all, I'm all happy, and he's just like, uh, we got another one over here, Mike. Yeah, this is a huge scrap yard. Or is it not? Is it a little one? Okay. Wow. Have a convo with that guy. He's definitely not friendly. So I don't know. Um, I bet if I if I were to guess, I'm gonna guess that we're gonna get like 32 bucks, 33 dollars. Super getting ripped off because we're not even getting the copper prices at all. But hey, it's my first time here and I'm trying to get this stuff out of my truck. I, excuse me, I didn't even anticipate scrapping, so. Scrapyard for sure. So much stuff here, it's nuts. Just a quick look at the sign there. Uh, 52 bucks, more than I anticipated. He didn't give me any, um, I, I, he didn't even ask for my ID. So I, I just definitely a different kind of scrap yard to say the least. But we got the scrap done. We got 50 bucks. Hey, um, you know, I just know that in Lorraine, we would have definitely separated our metals to get our max dollar. Maybe out here in this area, that's just not what people do. I don't know, guys, but thanks for watching for a little bit. We're going to jump right into the Hoarder House Garage. Oh, yeah. Still definitely a ton of scrap, but not that bad, guys. The front's all right, but let's move forward with the garage. Guys, here we go. Here's the garage. Wow, what a dent we've done, but look at how long it's actually have taken us. Okay, so what I am thinking now is... We should probably continue this row of boxes. We have one, two, three, four, five boxes, and hopefully they're filled with a bunch of awesome treasure. So here we go. Right. Here we go. One. What? Old Western leather shoes they're brand new that's pretty cool 70s mexican leather probably mass produced there's a ton of them though and they're still in the plastic they're still good Yes, this whole wow, this whole box is filled with those. No way. Whole box filled, bunch of different sizes. I mean, I think they're kind of cool. I'd say they're kind of cool. Oh, 
all leather. I don't know. What do you guys think? I, I need I need opinions in the chat, guys. Comment below if they're cool or not. I think they're decent. Box. We got the handle with care. Keep at 58 degrees or 14 degrees Celsius. Oh my gosh. Is this a bunch of brushes? Oh man, Julie was buying brushes from me. I guess apparently they don't make brushes the same as how they used to. Look at this. I'm gonna use one. You know what, I'm using one. Okay, let's see what we got. No, 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 it's a bad idea already. Look at that. Bad idea already, guys. Bad idea. Damn. Okay, I got it out. So these are kind of cool, though, because they have the teeth of the comb or the brush all the way around. So it's like a 360 motion. I feel like they really might not make them like these with wood and, and in Taiwan. I don't know, I feel like they're kind of cool. Back in the day, look at this. $2 a piece he sold them for. So, hey, there's tons of boxes. I think this is a cool box. This dawned upon me. I feel like I want to keep digging to make sure that there is only combs and there's not. There's a belt with flowers. That's pretty sweet. Um, what are these like Mardi Gras beads? I'm trying to get my hand in there, pulling it out. Oh, these are Hong Kong made. Yeah, just some really cool beaded necklaces. They're not sterling. No, they're not sterling on the clasp, but they're usually beaded necklaces like this, guys, aren't. But yeah, this is that's a pretty nice bag. That's a hefty bag of beaded necklaces, I'll tell you that. What's this? Wait a minute, wait a minute. That's a hefty bag of necklaces. I can't lie. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. We're not saying that no way. Lane Bryant. That's, you know, I think that's a cool logo. But I don't know who Lane Bryant is. All right. So. Oh, sh <gasps> What in the hells is happening? Holy crap. Dude, look at all of this vintage turquoise style native jewelry. Wow. They even have a Playboy bunny. They made so many different styles of vintage jewelry back then, it was nuts. Sheesh, man. Wow. Oh my gosh. Do you think there's another one? I mean, there's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. There's seventeen rings, and I didn't even count this side. Holy crap. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh! What do we got? So I think there is um, about almost 20 different pairs of earrings and necklaces that come in like kind of like a set. I don't I don't think these any of these are real stones, but they're man, they got that vintage style and it looks fantastic. 
Okay, let's see what else we got. We're looking in here. Whoa! Oh, voila. She wants it. Knew it. Knew it. Covered cover cake and utility pan. Yup. Yup. This is, you guys can't dip this because I already can see a well of watching this right now saying I need that. So, you got to understand, Awella is the cook of the family. So, she doesn't play. So, that's that's dipped by Awella. And then here. <coughs> oh, whoa. Whoa, this is box number four. Oh, no, box number three. What? What are all these Chicago Bears wives? Football fashion and furs benefit. No way. Chicago Bears wives. Tupperware. Yeah, these are looking a little old. You're gonna have to clean this up, but I don't know. I don't. I don't think Awella wants this one. Or she might. I don't know. My mom might want this one actually. My mom likes the Tupperware. Let's see what else we have? Sugar. Yeah, this is a pretty crazy box. I don't think I've ever got a box like this. Another sugar. These are old school, old style sugar jars. And Jumped back inside of the garage just to kind of get a quick glimpse of everything. It's so crazy how much stuff is everywhere. I mean, there is stuff everywhere. Look, at, I'm like, I'm on the border that the the guy made for the boxes. We should probably grab these two boxes as well. We still have two boxes, and we're already grabbing more boxes. Sheesh. So much still to go through. I'm just going to grab one for right now. Okay. Okay. You were a random box. Let's see what you are. So just kind of like old school hair clips. A bunch of different designs. Oh, look at this. This is what, like a butterfly? Oh, that is a butterfly. More hair clips. We got a belt. I'm not really sure what that thing is. Is this another belt? These are, I think these are like dog collars because of how little they are. These are all butterfly belts. How cool is that? There's a whole, there's packs of them. Packs of butterfly belts. Ooh. Rubber frame glasses. That was a pretty cool, pretty cool box. Random box. Okay, we're back on track. Oh, I know what these are. I know what these are. These are old school fat laces. People have been getting like five bucks a piece on these. I sold a few already. What the heck is this? Oh, what is that that's under there? No. A bunch of Terry Bradshaw posters from 1989. Oh my gosh, if you frame these, 
Wow. Bush promos. All Terry Bradshaw. In a freaking box of laces. What in the world? Look, there's more of them. Wow. Bush promos. How crazy is that? How many designs? There's so many different designs on these. I like them. Comment below if you guys like these. Um, maybe I should put it on my shoes. Hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Porterhouse laces. Honestly, I feel like they look better. Box of the original five boxes and kind of looks like a shoe box. And that's exactly what it is, guys. A big box of shoes. It's too bad we can't put laces on that. They don't have any laces. Let's grab some more boxes. All right. All right let's see what we got. Okay, we're going. We're in the middle. I'm gonna grab this box. I'll grab this box. Dang, that almost dropped. You, you know what, guys? I think we're just gonna go ahead and probably grab two more boxes. We'll do a total of four. All right. See box number one. Okay. Wow, tons of old school hair ties. The Indian lady is on it. Look at all these old school rings, too. I'm finding bags and bags of rings. Old school, what is that, a bracelet? Heck yeah, that is a bracelet. So this is like a jewelry box. Wow. I don't know what's in here, let's see. Uh-oh, oh my gosh, guys, no way. These are old school belt buckles. So those for 20 bucks back. Look at this, a super van. Wow, super van. It says CB slash six. Uh, keep on camping. Ooh, yin and the yang symbol. It's like almost like a, a shield, like Captain America's shield. Wonder Woman. Oh my gosh, that's cool. Made in the USA. Wow. I just said Captain America, that's what's crazy. Why was it like a military? Tiffany Studio. And one more. What do you think it is? Oh, there's a copyright. Whoa. So many belt buckles. Oh guys, my first rookie mistake. Always have to thoroughly go through all of your boxes, for sure. Pulled this out. Wish I would have got a natural reaction, but oh my gosh, check this out. Whew, here we go. Oh no, this is crazy. Look at all that bling bling. 
January, February, March, April, May, June, July. Look, September, Sapphire. Wow, there's three of each stone. Golden Topaz is November. Wow, look at that. That was in that box right there. That's You got to look through all your boxes thoroughly, guys. Learn from me. You want to look through all your boxes. I don't even want to put this box down yet. Still so much more. Look at all these bracelets. And they're eagle kind of biker style bracelets. Too bad we couldn't put those in the Harley auction. Yeah, look at all this. I think that's it for this one. There's, you know, one of these peace necklaces. No way, it's crazy. Next box, let's see what we got. Whoa. All these play mobile toys, valuable guys. The Lego before Lego. Look at all these, these are what, accessories? Oh, look at that. 18 karat gold shield. What? Is this like accessories or something or? There's a mirror. All right, these are two more crucifixes. Oh, nope, this one's an eagle. 50 bucks. Diamond cut. Wow. These, these birds are like fighting behind me. I don't know if you guys heard that. Okay. All right, let's keep going through this. What is this? A duck oil burner from 1987. There's two of those. Let's see, oh, we got more beads. A ton more beads. Oh my gosh, and tons of slingshots. No way. Oh man. If I didn't love animals so much right now, I'd be shooting them at the birds, but I don't know. I've never even been hunting, guys. I can't even, I can't hurt an animal. Look, there's a bunch of beads. Wow. I know you guys are going to love those beads. Let's see here. Play mobile. Okay. Oh, look at this. Bottle openers. What are they themed? Quick and easy cannon bottle. Oh, whoa, whoa. There's a quarter. 1982. Okay. Remember, we're looking for 65, 64 and below. Okay. okay. All right. Oh, what are these? Curry powder. Uh, I think that's expired. Does that expire? Nice little paintbrush, that's sweet. And a shoe polisher, and that is going to be the box. It's a pretty crazy box if you ask me, that's crazy. I've never, I haven't found any slingshots. Guys, next box looks like a leather one. It is a leather box, but even better, hats. And they seem to be in great shape. Nice, nice leather. The stored properly, I guess. I mean, could have been stored a little better, but it's still healthy leather. Feels good. Okay, that's good. Move that aside. Let's pull this up. Ooh, more leather hats. Tons more leather hats. Let's see. What's in here? Ooh. Um... Horses and saddles, different kind of pins. That's kind of cool. Nice little satchel, vintage leather. 
Very useful. Ooh, old school puppet. An old school puppet. This is probably worth some serious coin, guys. Let's see. And check this out. Ooh, not one, but two different Rolls Royce Phantom radios. Solid state with the original box. Two of them. That is crazy. Those are cool. The last but not least box. It looks like it is nothing but a bunch of different Ford winter hats, guys. How crazy. I mean, these things could easily be 20 bucks a piece. They're in great shape. That was an awesome garage haul. Bunch of boxes. That will be the episode, guys. Thank you so much for subscribing, being loyal legends, and being awesome. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. If you haven't already known or you don't already know, how about that? You are invited to the auction today at 8 p.m., where we sell all of this awesome, amazing uh, order house and storage unit stuff to you guys. Um, and then also, I want to remind you guys that tomorrow we are selling all of those Harley t-shirts starting at $1. I want you guys to be there on whatnot. Um, I'll see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching.